The controversy over medical marijuana is nothing new, but new questions are being raised about its use. One issue in particular, should children take it too? Cher Calvin here with an incredible story about one family's fight for their son, Cher. That's right, Micah and Victoria, when you say that, it sounds so shocking to so many, but California's Prop 215, the Compassionate Use Act, was passed by voters a decade ago, and it does allow seriously ill patients with a doctor's recommendation to use marijuana legally. But what about for children? Children. We did find this one family with a truly remarkable tale to tell us in this KTLA exclusive report. <laughs> Can you tell me what school's like for you, Sam? <laughs> Titanic! Pig one! This is Sam, a 10 year old who lives with his dad, his mom, and his sister Lucy in Northern California. <laughs> Sam has autism. <laughs> From age two till eight, Sam's disorder made him violent and aggressive. His parents, Steve and Angela, were truly living a nightmare every day. He got to a point where he was hurting other children at school and in public places. A lot of times we'd be, um, say, in line at a store, and he would just instantly just bolt off and go and hit another child in the face. One time he pulled the TV down. Um, he knocked over all the furniture. I mean, he, and I got, and I had to put him in a hold for. Uh, maybe an hour. I mean, just where his whole body was spasming. It was just, I mean, I would just lay there crying, just holding. Sam's parents worked with expert doctors who recommended a succession of conventional prescription medications like Risperdal and a host of others. But Sam just gained 20 pounds and became harder to handle. <laughs> we were so scared. We were like, okay. He's getting more dangerous. He's getting bigger and stronger now that he's 20 pounds bigger from the Respiradol. The child that we had grown to love was gone. It was just like when you looked at him, when you talked to him, he had just disappeared. Yeah. Finally, at their wit's end and faced with the very real prospect of needing to institutionalize their son, Sam's parents decided to try something unconventional and controversial. Last year, they began treating Sam with medical marijuana. If you think about it, it really is the perfect medication for that kind of behavior. It's just very calming. So this is the medicine right here. Steve and Angela got a recommendation from a medical cannabis doctor. They told Sam's pediatrician about their plan, and Steve grew Sam's new medicine in their backyard. We had six plants here. This is where Steve took out his tomato plants to grow and then harvest the cannabis. From the marijuana flowers, he could make a concentrated form, what people refer to as hash. This ball represents roughly four months of doses for Sam. So I just take my lighter. Steve softens the cannabis with heat, then takes what appears to be just a speck of pot, Sam's dose for the day. What effect did the medical cannabis have on Sam? Well, the first time we did it, we just wanted to do, uh, to see if it would work at all. And it was just an amazing experience. I mean, I can't, I'll never forget it, to, yeah. to watch what happened to him. It was just like, was like wow, he's back. You know, this anguish and this pent up rage and this, uh, you know, obsessiveness. It's just like it just went away. It's just like it just calmed him down. While we were with the family, we watched Steve put Sam's daily dose in a piece of melon and take it to him. Can you swallow that for us? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Within roughly 20 minutes, the effects were clear. Where earlier Sam had been animated and antsy, after eating his speck of hash, Sam became calm, relaxed, and social. High five. <laughs> As a mother, how would you feel about people saying to you that you're getting your son stoned every day? At first, I was very concerned about that, but recently I've been sharing the story with more and more people, you know, friends and coworkers, and I find that, you know, the more I tell people, the more I share it with people, the more comfortable I am with it. It has saved our lives, and I think about what it's done for our son. Could Sam's story help others? Respected L.A. area pediatrician Christopher Tolsher says we don't know enough about cannabis for kids. For all the parents out there whose children may have autism, I think the message here is that this is intriguing information that needs more research before we can confidently say that marijuana is a safe and effective treatment for autism complications. Our but for this California family, medical marijuana has literally been an answer to their prayers and a homecoming for their son. It was just uh, a medication that we saw that 
gave us the results that we were always hoping for. And he was you know, happy. I mean, I think that really is a key, is that he was, he was happy, happy again. He was smiling and laughing, and, and we had lost that for so long, and it was so sad, and we wondered if we'd ever see that again. It just feels like I have more control now to help my son, instead of depending on doctors who you know, may have the best intentions, but they don't know what Sam needs. I want to do what's best for my son, and I'll do whatever I can for him. Well, one important note, Sam's parents tell us that they have followed the letter of the law regarding his medication and that they've grown only the amount of marijuana that Prop 215 allows. The medication is for Sam and for nobody else. Yeah. Now, Cher, does he, does he take this medication every single day? You know, they, they started off um, at 7 o'clock in the morning, he would take it, then they would give him a second dose in the afternoon, but after two years, he started this at 8, he's now 10, they sometimes don't have to give it to him and only give it to him as needed, which is incredible. It really has changed his behavior, according to them. Mm. Wow. All right, Cher. Terrific story. Thank you for the reporting. And for more on Sam's story, information on treating children with autism, go to our website, ktla.com. Click on the special reports section. There you'll find Cher's report and a link to the American Academy of Pediatrics.